My name is Eleanor Doherty, and I teach fourth grade at Adelante Selvi Spanish Immersion. Um, so I'm the seventh grade teacher for Holy Family School in Redwood City. Hi, my name is Jesenia Bravo. I teach fourth grade at Adelante Selvi. My name is Ruth Hausenbold, and I've been a friend of Art and Actions for the past 20 years. I think Art and Action is super important to our school, one, because it gives an entire curriculum and structure. I, I don't have any background in art. I don't have any particular talent in art and I'm able to teach it. I can transfer the knowledge to the kids and then they can play and have fun and create and um, develop their skills. And I think if I had to come up with a curriculum on my own, it, the, the, the hurdle or the bar would be so high. Oh, I think art is so essential to all of the students, especially the youth, because it's a way for them to express themselves and it's a way for them to have an outlet. Uh, when they finish Art in Action and when I come in, they're always so excited to show me their final product. Like, which one do you think is mine? Is that one mine? Is that one mine? Um, and again, it's it's crazy that it's all different, but you're able to distinguish who's is who based on the uniqueness and their personality. Uh, the smiles on their faces are priceless when they show you their work at the end. And you can tell that they feel they're in a safe space to express themselves. I also feel that it gives them the, the experience to increase their sense of empathy as they're very gentle with each other's art. They're very positive. They're always saying, oh my gosh, what a great job. It looks great. As a teacher, I love the how it connects to the curriculum that I teach. So sometimes I'll hear the students um, point out something that they learned from history class. When Art in Action comes into the classroom, I feel that they provide this calming environment it reduces stress for them and is very therapeutic, you know, socially and emotionally. I really enjoy how you can see their development from kindergarten to fifth grade as they learn the technical art skills and their growth over time is really apparent when you look at their portfolios after uh, fifth grade. It also gives them access um, to experiences in the language of art culture and that helps us to close the achievement gap. And it also supports small motor skill development um, and confidence that they have in themselves. I love Art in Action in the classroom because it connects to many of our curriculums. I love it because during COVID, um, it's a great outlet for them. It's a great way for them to have some fun in the middle of this pandemic. So Art in Action has been um, even more important right now during the COVID experience because it gives students um, lots of hands-on opportunity that they usually have at school, but they don't have it right now since we are in a virtual environment. They're still feeling very excited about participating. They're still asking a lot of questions and just that hesitation. Oh my gosh, what are we doing today? What are we gonna create today? We would really appreciate your help and support to further this experience for so many children um, that benefit and are enriched. Anybody who's able to contribute anything to the Art in Action program, I would highly recommend it. And then I would appreciate it so much because there's such a hardworking team behind Art in Action to create amazing content, to execute those lesson plans and to make sure that the students are benefiting in all the ways possible. Art in action is essential to education. Hi, my name is Mary Carbolito and I'm the executive director at Art in Action. I'd like to thank the educators, the school administrators and the volunteers for their advocacy and for sharing their stories that underscore the importance of art in their children's lives. Creating art encourages self-expression and brings joy, promoting positive mental health, which is so critical, especially right now. Every child deserves to have these opportunities integrated into their educational experience. But there remains inequity in education. The Art and Education Scholarship Program intends to bridge these gaps, but we need your help. Please make a gift right now. Every dollar donated will go directly to our scholarship fund to be able to provide arts education to under-resourced schools and their children. Thank you for your support.